Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Here's a word problem. Rita is 12 years and 6 months old. Jet is 4 years and 2 months younger to Rita. Find the ratio of Jet's age to Rita's age. Alright, so Rita is 12 years and 6 months old. So let's say that this is Rita and she is 12 years and 6 months old. So this purple block over here is Rita's age. Let's put her name against it and this is 12 years and 6 months. Okay, then Jet is 4 years and 2 months younger to Rita. So let's suppose that this from here to here is 4 years and 2 months. Then Jet, his age would be about this. From here to here, right? This size. So this is 4 years and 2 months, which is how much younger Jet is compared to Rita. So this is 4 years and 2 months. Then this is Jet's age, which is, let's see, how much is Jet's age? Well, 6 months minus 2 months is 4 months. And 12 years minus 4 years is 8 years. So Jet is 8 years and 4 months old. Let's put some color in Jet's age. Say blue. Alright, so now we have Rita's age as well as Jet's age. And now we have to find out the ratio of Jet's age to Rita's age. Okay, so Jet's age to Rita's age. Now what's given to us is these two children's age in years and months. But we can't compare them like this. We need to convert them to a single unit, either years or months. So how about we convert everything to months? Okay, so in uh, months, how much is uh, Rita's age? Well, Rita's age would be 12 times 12 because 12 years is 12 times 12 months plus 6 months, right? So 12 times 12 is 144 plus 6. So that's a total of 150 months okay so that's Rita's age which is 150 months how about Jet well Jet is 8 years and 4 months okay now 8 years and 4 months would mean 8 times 12 okay that would be for the years 8 times 12 plus 4 months right so 8 times 12 is 96 and plus 4 is 100 so 96 plus 4 is 100 months okay so now we have Jet's age as well as Rita's age both in months and now it becomes much more easier to compare or relate these two ages so Jet is 100 months old and Rita is 150 months old so the relation or the ratio of Jet's age to Rita's age is quite simply 100 to 150 but I think for it to make more sense we should simplify this ratio so if we simplify this ratio well what can we divide these two terms by uh, let's say if we divide them I think if we divide them by 50, each of these terms, what we get is 100 divided by 50 is 2 and 150 divided by 50 is 3. So the simplest form of this ratio is 2 to 3, which tells you that if Jet's age is considered to be 2 units, then Rita's age would be 3 units. So actually, let's put that on the model. So if let's suppose that this is 1 unit, okay, from here to here is 1 unit, Okay, and let's also drop some color into it, some other color. So if this is one unit, this is the second unit, okay, then if Jet's age is equal to two units of the same size, okay, this is important, this must be the same size, okay. And since these are two blocks, then each block would be equal to 50 months. So if Jet's age can be divided into two units, then Rita's age can be divided into three units because the relation or the ratio between their ages is two to three. So this guy over here would also be blue and these will all be the same size. So each of these units, these blue units is equal to 50 months. And you can verify that 50 months times three is 150. Okay, that's Rita's age. And 50 times two would be 100 months, which would be Jet's age. So the ratio of Jet's age to Rita's age is 2 to 3.
Now, like I said before, you don't have to convert everything to months. You can also solve this problem by converting the ages to years. So we can do that. Let's do that actually. So if we have Jet's age to Rita's age. Now Jet's age is eight years and four months. Now we said we want to convert it to years. So we'll have to convert these four months to years. Now, if we are to convert four months to year, then we would have to divide the four months by 12 to get the answer in years. Now, four divided by 12 would be 0 0.3333 endless series. So actually, Jet's age in years would be 8.3333. Now, remember that we are dealing with decimals here, okay? So this is 8.3333333 and so on. How about... Rita's age. Well, Rita is 12 years and 6 months. Now, 6 months we know is half a year. So, half means 0.5, right? So, Rita's age is simply 12.5 years. Now, when you have a ratio that has got decimals in it, then the best thing to do is to simply take a calculator. Then, you put 12.5 here, okay, which is the bigger of the two. You put 12.5 and you divide by the smaller number. The smaller is 8.5. Three 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 three. Let's see what we get. What we get is one point five zero 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 six. Okay. So what that means is that if this is equal to one, then this would be one point five. You can drop the zeros and the last six. So the ratio of Jet's age to Rita's age is one to one point five. But you would say, how is that same as two to three? Well, if you use the concept of equivalent ratios. Okay, and you multiply both of these terms by 2, what you get is you get 2 here and you get 1.5 times 2, which is 3 here. So you see whether you convert the ages to months or to years, you still get the same answer, which is 2 to 3. Their ages are still in the same ratio, 2 to 3, which is Jet's age to Rita's age. Well, that's it. Hope you understood this word problem and hope... You'll now go and solve some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.